Got a crankshaft and a race car goes from rest to this many RPMs in 2.8 seconds. So this is an angular kinematics problem. And so I wanna identify as much as I can. So the angle at the beginning is zero, all right? So at rest, right? So it's starting at zero. And theta two, I don't know. And W1, starting at rest, so the angular speed at the beginning is zero. W2, now they gave that to us. So W2 is 3360 revolutions per second. But notice how I'm going to do this. I'm going to convert this to radians per second. Oh, that, this is per minute, actually. This is per minute. So then I'm going to say there are two, or a one revolution is two pi radians, right? And then I want to go one minute cancel these off from here and here is 60 seconds. And so my angular speed is 351 rads per second. Got it? Uh, I know time equals 2.8 seconds. And also the acceleration, I don't know, which is what they're going to ask. What is the acceleration? So then there are a series of kinematic equations. And so if you recall, there are, there's three key equations, but the one that's going to apply for number one is we can say that W2, is that the one I want to do? Yeah, equals W1 plus alpha T. So the beginning W is zero, so I can say that's zero. For W2, this is 351 equals zero plus alpha times my time, and the time was 2.8 seconds. And so at this point, I'm just going to uh, solve this for alpha, and I get alpha to be equal to 126 radians per second squared. Watch that, that's per second squared. How many revolutions does it make while reaching 3360? Uh, so revolutions is, is how min much angle has it gone through. And so we're actually solving for theta two. And so one of the other key kinematics equations is theta two equals theta one plus W1T plus one half times alpha T squared. So we're just gonna plug in everything that we know. Um, theta 2 is what we're solving for, but it starts at 0, and this will be 0t, so that term falls out, plus 1 half times, now alpha is this 126 number, times your time, 2.8. Now watch it, you have to square that. And I get a total number of 492 rads when I do that. But I am not interested in rads, but revolutions, so 492 rads over 1 and then I can say there are two pi rads in one revolution. The rads cancel. So you take 492 divided by 2, point, by two pi, and you get 78.4 revolutions.